Lecture 45 Beta and Gamma Function Part 3. In that lecture, we discussed some numerical examples related to beta and gamma functions. So, example, if you want to evaluate an integration like 0 to infinity e raised to power minus root x and the x fourth root of x dx. So, here we are using the gamma function and by the help of gamma function, you can easily evaluate such type of integration. How? So, first you just write that integration you can write e raised to power minus x raised to power 1 by 2 and x raised to power 1 by 4 dx now you just put x raised to power 1 by 2 is equal to t so x can be written as x is equal to t square and dx is equal to 2t dt now you just put in that integration so the integration becomes 0 to infinity the limits are same e raised to power minus t and x raised to power 1 by 4 on the place of x we put t square so we get t square 1 by 4 and on the place of dx we write 2t dt now the integration becomes e raised to power minus t and t raised to power that is 1 by 2 plus 1 so we get t raised to power 3 by 2 dt and that 2 is constant so we write outside the integration now if you remember the formula of the beta gamma function so gamma function is what gamma n is equal to 0 to infinity e raised to power minus x and x raised to power n minus 1 dx so when you compare that integration with the gamma function so the 3 by 2 is written as gamma sorry 5 by 2 minus 1 dt so you compare that integration so that become gamma 5 by 2 now you can easily expand 5 by 2 minus 1 we get 3 by 2 gamma 3 by 2 again 3 by 2 minus 1 that is 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 2 and gamma 1 by 2 is what root pi so we get 3 by 2 root pi so in that way we can easily evaluate such type of integration by using gamma function one more example evaluate the integration 0 to infinity x raised to power 1 by 2 e raised to power minus x raised to power 1 by 3 dx so as in as a previous example similarly we solve that example so here the power of x is e the power of e is what x raised to power 1 by 3 so we just put x raised to power 1 by 3 is equal to t so in that way x can is equal to we write t cube and dx become 3t square dt now we just substitute in that integration so integration become 0 to infinity x raised to power sorry t raised to power 3 by 2 into e raised to power minus t and on the place of dx we write 3 t square dt so the integration is 0 to infinity e raised to power minus t and t raised to power 3 by 2 plus 2 we write t raised to power 5 by 2 dt and that's 3 is constant so we write 3 outside the integration here you see sorry we get not 5 by 2 that's in 7 by 2 7 by 2 3 by 2 plus 2 so now if you want to compare the integration with car function so you can write 0 to infinity e raised to power minus t t raised to power 9 by 2 minus 1 7 by 2 can be written as 9 by 2 minus 1 so by compare the gamma function we get 3 comma 9 by 2 that's in value of n and you can easily expand that 9 by 2 7 by 2 5 by 2 3 by 2 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 on simplify that term we get 315 by 16 and the value of gamma 1 by 2 is root pi so value of that integration is root pi 
you have to evaluate an integration 0 to infinity x raised to power c divided by c raised to power x dx here that c is greater than 1 so now uh, by the gamma function we can easily evaluate that integration how we just substitute c raised to power x is equal to e raised to power says t now we can write x taking log <coughs> taking log both side so we can write x log c is equal to t and log e is we get base e we get t now x can be written as x is equal to t upon log c now differentiating both sides so we write dx is equal to 1 by log c dt that's in log c dt now substitute in that integration so integration become 0 to infinity we write c raised to power x is what e raised to power t x and on the place of x we write t upon log c so we write t upon log c whole power c into 1 upon e raised to power t and on the place of dx we write 1 upon log c dt so that integral we write 0 to infinity and t raised to power c log c raised to power c plus 1 into that e raised to power t we take in the denominator and we write e raised to power minus t dt so here we get 1 upon log c whole power c plus 1 0 to infinity e raised to power minus t t raised to power c dt now here you see we can write that c that c 1 upon log c raised to power c plus 1 integration 0 to infinity e raised to power minus t t raised to power c plus 1 minus 1 dt so what we get we get that's in constant term log c raised to power c plus 1 and it become gamma c plus 1 if you compare that integration with gamma function so the value of n is what c plus 1 so in that way we can evaluate that integration next example we have to evaluate an integration 0 to 1 x raised to power 4 1 minus root x whole power 5 dx so here uh, we use the beta function if you remember the beta function beta mn is equal to 0 to 1 x raised to power m minus 1 1 minus x raised to power n minus 1 dx now so first we convert that root x we take what we say putting root x is equal to t so x is equal to t square dx is equal to 2t dt now the integration becomes 0 to 1 t square whole power 4 1 minus t power 5 2t dt or that integration is run 0 to 1 that 2 is constant so take out the integration or sorry the integration t power 8 and 1 that is t raised to power 9 1 minus t raised to power that is 5 dt now if we write that integration t raised to power we can write 10 minus 1 and 1 minus t raised to power we can write 6 minus 1 dt now we just compare that integration with beta function so we get 2 it become beta the value of m is what 10 and n is 6 so we get 10 comma 6 now if you want to find the value of beta function so you remember the beta 
m in relation with gamma function that is the relation between beta and gamma function so we can write gamma 10 gamma 6 upon gamma 16 and now you easily expand the gamma function so here gamma 10 6 we written as 5 4 3 2 1 16 we write 16 sorry 15 16 minus 1 15 14 13 12 11 10 gamma 10 so gamma 10 is cancelled and you just simplify the term we get we get 1 by 150.5 so in that way by using beta function we evaluate that integration so let's say next example show that the integration 0 to pi by 2 root cot theta d theta we get 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 4 gamma 3 by 4 so here the given integration 0 to pi by 2 and cot theta we can write root cos theta upon sin theta d theta now we also write pi by 2 cos theta whole power 1 by 2 and sin theta whole power minus 1 by 2 d theta now if you remember the formula of beta function that is beta mn we write 2 times 0 to pi by 2 sin 2m minus 1 theta cos 2n minus 1 theta d theta so we write beta mn so here you just compare that integration with this so here you if you compare the power of sin theta is 1 by minus 1 by 2 here you get 2m minus 1 so you can say 2m minus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 and we get the value of m is what uh, 1 by 4 and 2n minus 1 the power of cos theta here we get 1 by 2 and the value of n is 3 by 4 so we can say we write that integration the value of that integral we write beta m and n and because here the value of it, that integration is multiple of 2 so we write that 2 in the denominator so we write 1 by 2 beta 1 by 4 3 by 4 now we just evaluate that and how we write the beta mn with the relation of gamma function we write gamma 1 by 4 gamma 3 by 4 upon gamma 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 so we get 1 by 2 that become 1 we get 1 by 4 comma 3 by 4 next example we have to evaluate the integration 0 to infinity x is to power 8 1 minus x is to power 6 divided by 1 plus x is to power 24 dx so that could uh, integration is evaluating by the help of the relation the property of beta mn 0 to infinity x raised to power n minus 1 1 plus x raised to power m plus n dx so first we resolve that function we can write that function x raised to power 8 minus x raised to power 14 divided by 1 plus x is to power 24 dx now separate the both terms 0 to infinity x is to power 8 1 plus x is to power 24 dx 0 to infinity x is to power 14 that is minus x 1 plus x is to power 24 dx now here 
we can write x raised to power 8 we can write 9 minus 1 and 24 minus 9 we get 15 so we write 15 plus 9 and again that integration x raised to power 14 we write 15 minus 1 1 plus x raised to power 24 minus 15 we get 9 15 plus 9 dx so here you see if you compare that integration with that property so we write this become beta the value of m is what 15 and 9 minus beta this become 9 and 15 and you know the integration so you just write that is 9 and then 15 so we get 9 15 now beta mn is what the property of beta function beta mn is equal to beta nm means beta function is symmetric so what we get we get 0 so the value of that integration become 0